Hey everybody, it's me Edward Jones, back with a new video, Mill Spec Living. First, I want to give a big thanks to those who have contributed to the channel, um, helping the channel grow. Um, I just finally, <laughs> I finally had a video that reached over uh, 100,000 views, and that was the Race War LOL video. Uh, I never knew that video would, you know, would make such a buzz to where you know I get that many views, and it's, it's slowly climbing. But you know, it's it's amazing to me that um, you know I had this channel up since 2008, and I finally got a video that you know that uh, <laughs> has that many views. Um, and it even has the greatest number of uh, down votes, uh, 220 at so far <laughs> currently. But uh, that's pretty cool. But um, I want to be actually. Uh, this is a, this is a video I topic I um, I came up with after a while a while back, a couple months. I was gonna say about a month ago. Uh, someone commented on the way I wear my watch. As you can see that I wear it on the inside of my wrist. And someone asked me, you know, why do I wear my watch like that? And I said, um, to my understanding, it's a military style. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I, don't, I can't remember the person um, who asked me the question about that. But if you, you know who you are, you know, leave a comment in the comment section so you get recognized. But um, a friend of mine, back when I worked. Um, at a bicycle shop, he told me his dad was in the military, and he said he, he kind of figured I was into that kind of stuff, and so he told me to, you know, turn your watch on the inside, because uh, <laughs> he said if you watch it on the outside, a sniper can see it because of the reflection, and I, I thought it was kind of weird at first, but I said, you know, I'll I'll bite, I'll try it out, see how, what it's like, and so I wore my, so now I wear my watch on the inside, and it's easy, you know, it's it's pretty cool. You know, I can just look, I'll turn my wrist and I can look down my watch and you know see what time it is. You know, it's nothing nothing fancy. It's a what is it, a Casio? I think. I think it's a Casio G-Shock. You know, it's a digital and analog watch. But it got me thinking about a lot of questions I've been asked over the uh, over the um, over recent years. And that question is, that that question was, where did you serve? Like what? Like were you in the military? I said no. I remember one time I actually went to <laughs> one time I went to PSA, Palmetto State Armory, and I was offered um, military discount. And I said hold, hold on, <laughs> I'm, I'm not military. I had a you know, it's funny because I had a I had a buzz. I had my, I still had my you know all my facial hair, but I had a you know, all my hair was off. I had a buzzed head, and I was you know offered a military discount. I said oh no, I'm I'm not military. <laughs> um, and then the cashier you know. You know, went on, went ahead with the with the sale. I guess it didn't really help. That was buying um, five five six ammo, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I figured I just you know just for just for kicks, I'll list out the ways that my life somewhat kind kind of go in line, kind of kind of goes in, in in the direction of he might be military. You no, know, he may have served in the armed forces. I haven't. <laughs> it's just that you know, it's just something that's been asked of me. Something that people. People who've been to the military even ask me, you know, where, where'd you serve? I said, I never served. <laughs> I'm. This is just who I am. So, you know, this now this list is not is not uh, is not time static. So it's gonna go you know all over the place. Um, first off, you know, I feel oh yeah, I figure I'll wear this hat. This is when I did a, you know hats for your ass. You know the the boonie cap that had the bullet hole in it. <laughs> I figure I'll wear this for this video. Favorite handgun. 1911, adopted by U.S. military in 1911, still going strong. And this is a Springfield Armory GI 45. You've seen me do videos on it before. Um, this is in the GI configuration, um, as you know, as much as it can be. The safety is a little different, but uh, you know, no frills, plain Jane, old slap sides, 45. Favorite shotgun? It's the Winchester 1897, and that was adopted by the military as the in around the for you know, in dirt for war, I think right before, a little bit before World War One, was adopted as its first combat shotgun. And I did and look at some old look at an older video I had many years ago. I did have it in the trench gunner configuration, but I since got rid of the heat shield and bayonet lug. Um, I like it as I like it as a riot gun. Um, let's see what else. What else? What else? My truck. You know, you that you see. <laughs> 
I guess uh, in the last video you couldn't really if you didn't hear what I was saying you got the 6.2 J code to thank for that the J code is the one is the is the engine they put inside the CUCVs that the military use in their Chevys um, as opposed to the C code which had more emission controls my, my my old engine and the new one I put in um, were both J codes in fact the one that we just put in was taken out of a CUCV from 1984 <laughs> it had 20, 25,000 miles on it which is pretty cool you know just been sitting um someone someone pegged me for being in the military um because I was at work I was behind a counter and someone no, they said um what would you serve I said why do you what made you think I served in the military my belt you know I got this belt uh this is a rain uh, this is a rain. Uh, it says made in see, Madison Avenue, Anderson, Indiana, four six zero one three. It's a size medium. You know, I was wearing this belt at work. I got another one. I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> um, you know, it's a military belt. I got this from a surplus store. Let's see what else I can um some little some little uh, trivia facts about me. This is my day-to-day -day <laughs> bag. This is my everyday bag. It's a medium-sized Alice pack, a rucksack. You know, kidney pads, you know, kidney, uh, frame and all. <laughs> and I, I use that, you know, as my everyday bag when I'm riding a bike, when I'm driving, you know, the truck around town. Um, I have that bag with me. And yeah, it's a mil it's a retired military book bag. Well, let's see what else. Um, you know, I guess the buzz head. You normally, know, you know, right now, I'm bald right now. But uh, you know, I guess that could be a that could kind of give something away that I may I may have served. Let's see my demeanor. Um, I have a usually have like a very uh, I speak monotone usually, and I have kind of a deadpan uh, delivery in my my comedy. Um, you know, kind of a blink. I have like a you know a blank blank stare face, like that. <laughs> um, I don't smile very often. Uh, I like to smile when the occasion calls for it. Cause I don't know. I feel like when I'm when I'm, I'm smiling when I don't when I know I don't want to smile. Like I'm lying, so I keep you know a straight face. Um, and you know I don't um you know just don't like I don't show much emotion, unless you know unless I'm with friends and you know we're joking around and stuff like that. Go back to my old videos. My uh, my uh, battle belt for SHTF is from World War II. The holster re is a is a repo World War II holster. Um, let's see the magazine, the, the two magazine pouches, you know, which is for the 1911, from, or from World War One. Uh, the flashlight pouch, I believe, is from Vietnam. Um, what else, what other stuff? Um, let's see. I have an AR-15, um, and also I'm also working on a second one. <laughs> I got this. Uh, um, I got this earlier this week. It's a lower. It's a PSA lower. Um, I bought it from a guy who uh, I think I believe he was in he was in the army. You know, he had to, he had to sell it. You know, I think he was in the army. I think he said he was in the military. He maybe went, maybe went to a military school. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, I tell you what, if you can if you can go through my old videos and find things that actually point in that direction, you know, leave a comment in the comment section. You know, kind of poke fun at it. You know, uh, let's see. Um, I'm friends with Doug Base. You know, on on YouTube and um, I guess as far as distance goes, you know, we Skype we we would Skype back and forth. We haven't done so in, in quite a while, but uh, he was in the Air Force. I have various friends that are in the, are in the Air Force. I have. Some friends have a cousin in the navy. In the navy, know a few guys that were in the, that were in the Marines. One of my buddies, who's uh, in, who is in the Air Force right now, and he's in he's I think he's stationed in the in Nevada, um, by Lake Mead. He uh, he told me a long time ago that he was in because he was in ROTC. I wasn't, and he said, "Hey, I think you I think you've been great in ROTC." Um, you know, he he says that you know. I'm, I, um, and I have leadership skills. Uh, I think I, yeah, I think I'd be you know good at leading leading a group in that setting. And I said I don't know. I mean that's that didn't seem like be my thing. Um, 
you know, I asked too many questions. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, this is a few of the things. Uh, you know, it's, I don't, and, and it happened. Oh, yeah, and the, can, the water canteens, I don't have one around me right now, but those are military canteens. Also, the canteen that I had for my uh, Battle Belt video is a World War II canteen. The ones that I use right now are just, you know, the generic OD green plastic, uh, plastic canteens. But yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really make a conscious effort to, um, I, I, it's not my aim to do that, you know, to be that way, is, it just happens, you know, uh, tell, please tell me, do you, uh, do you have some of the same, I guess, habits, <laughs> um, do, do you get asked whether you, whether you serve in the military when that, that wasn't, when that, you know, may not have been the case, uh, please leave your comments in the comment section, I'd be happy to read, you know, read your responses, uh, again, thank, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who uh, who has stuck with my channel for this long, and I want to say that I want to also want to give a big thank you for everyone who have joined on to the channel, through you know through some of the topics I've discussed. Look for, look forward for more videos. Um, I still got another video uh, that I hinted about um, a while back. I've been real busy uh, with work, well, both jobs, and um, I haven't forgot about that. But uh, yeah, share your thoughts. You got any gripes, complaints? You think I'm a, gl a glory thief or anything like that? You want to, you know, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section. Or send me, send me a hateful PM. You know, I try not to laugh too hard when I read it. But uh, it's my video, uh, Mill Spec Living. I'm Edward Jones, and thanks for watching.